welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today we've got another couples video. At this point, I may have to switch from SMA to relationship advice guru, but all jokes aside, and we might actually have to start a, a family channel, um, but all jokes aside, guys, uh, we've got a very juicy one today because look, ever since uh, I made, well, we made the relationship public and, um, you know, for example, with the last vlog and traveling to, uh, to Portugal, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, regarding how do you manage um, your relationship and your work, how do you guys you know, go about your day and how do, how do you make sure that you make your uh, relationship successful, right? Yeah. Um, so I wanted to cover uh, you know, quite a lot of the topics that I've been getting a lot, quite a lot of the questions that I've been getting a lot uh, in this video. So we've got a bunch of notes here. We're gonna structure the video in, uh, in this manner. So there's gonna be five sections and each section is gonna address one of the main concerns and uh, Really, uh, touch on, uh, <laughs> really touch on uh, some of the most important topics uh, regarding how to make your relationship and your work successful at the same time, right? Yeah. So the first section is gonna be carving out time. We're gonna talk about essentially how to make time for the other person, right? The second section is gonna be all about timing. When do you know it's the right time for you to get a partner? Is there such a thing as a right time? Should you even look for a partner? Um, number three, is focus is getting a partner a distraction we'll talk all about that uh number four is finding the right one how do you actually make sure that you find the right person uh, that suits your needs especially as an entrepreneur right yeah because uh, you would consider yourself a, an entrepreneur yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and five remorse right uh missing out uh, you know how do you deal with this you know maybe you're missing out on dating around and parties you know, partying you know, dating various women because it does come with a, a sacrifice, you could call it, uh, where you just, you basically focus on one single person, right? Yeah. So, uh, shall we get started, Augusta? Let's go. So, uh, first section is carving out time. Basically, uh, we, we were talking about, about this before the video and we're talking about what we'd like to talk about. Um, and basically, you know, uh, this, this is a question that comes up a lot, right? How do you have the time for a relationship given everything you've got on your plate or you know you as an entrepreneur everything you've got on your plate and we divided it all in, we divided it into two categories right the people who live with their partner and the people who don't live with their partner uh do you want to talk about like the difference that that would make no <laughs> that's all folks <laughs> <laughs> so look uh Again, I'm forcing her to be on this video, but all she wants to go, all she wants to do is, is uh, not be on this video. But if you <laughs> no, live, if, if look, if, if you live with her, um, you both have to be aware. You know, the, the main difference is the fact that there's not going to be there's, there's more transparency, right? Because you're seeing each other on a, on a daily basis, and there's not as much questioning like, where is this person? Like, mm -hmm. does this person even is this person even interested anymore? Right? Um, so it's, it's definitely easier, right? Yeah, I mean, what I get from a lot of girls is that if they are dating an entrepreneur, which is a very specific type of guy who does a lot of um, deep work, which means that maybe four to five hours, they are not checking the phone. So maybe you don't get a reply in two hours, four hours, five hours, and that's okay. You just need to understand, like, mm -hmm. what's the type of work and what are their priorities. Yeah, I, I, th I think that's massive, the fact that, you know, it's, it's very important that Everyone, you know, both both people are uh, aware of everyone's priority during the day, right? And so and schedule, you know, yeah, like everyone's schedule is right. So like the priority may be just like from eight a.m. to like five p.m. The priority is just work, deep work, right? Um, and then as as Augusta said, like you know, schedule in time for each other on that on that you know during the day. Um, mm -hmm. When you schedule that time and you make it predictable, then it's much easier to to actually make it work. Yeah, right. Um, so yeah, I mean, one of the things that, that we're talking about is like a lot of people, you know, it's communication, right? But it's also Very structure. Important. It's yeah. also structure. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, to be organized helps a lot because then your partner knows what your day looks like. So it's better to understand and to, uh, yeah, respect the other's mm -hmm. time. Just that. Sure. I think people think that structure limits. Uh, it's actually the opposite way. Like structure gives you freedom, right? Mm -hmm. It gives you freedom to do the things that you want in life. And so, is it possible? hundred percent. We talk about this a lot um, ourselves. Like a lot of people think, well, you have to focus on, and I, I do believe in that, uh, you know, holy, right? But there is time almost for everything. If you structure it the right way. And if you delegate the things that you shouldn't be doing, if you automate things that you shouldn't be doing yourself, et cetera, et cetera. Right. And so I uh, keep that in mind. The fact that 
um, when when you have more stuff on your plate, it pushes you to be more creative with the yeah. things you delegate, with things you don't do, with the, the structure of your day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, moving on. Timing. Uh, how do you know it's the right time? You don't. <laughs> I right. mean, yeah, I don't think that there is a structure, like a social structure, like you should party until 25, then you should get a boyfriend or girlfriend, then you should marry, then have kids. I think that it comes naturally when you are aligned to that uh, frequency and it comes at the right time. So, yeah. 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 We're also talking about like, what, you know, when is the right time? When you're ready. Right? Yeah. You have to work, first work on yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, uh, be good be good inside so that you're ready to receive someone into your life, right? Yeah. Uh, I feel like people do it the other way around. The other way, around, the other like, way yeah. They, they look for someone to handle their own, own life, but it's just, yeah. yeah, it makes no sense. I mean, once you are in your life happy and accomplished and you have something you can share something, this happiness with someone, then it's good to have someone in your life. Otherwise, you're just gonna put the responsibility in the other person to mm -hmm. make you happy or make you, and then it's gonna be just a toxic relationship because you're gonna need them and like actually to fulfill you and that's just a, a mess, <laughs> so. For sure. Yeah. The next thing that I want to talk about on this point is the fact that, you know, one of the biggest lessons for me, uh, especially kind of getting out of my head and into, a, into more of my emotions uh, and into a relationship is, is understanding that like, we very unconsciously as well we make such like there's there's so many mental timings that we've got in our life right like you know I, you know I, I used to think like oh from uh, 18 to like 25 or 28 I'll just work my ass off build my empire you know I, I don't care whether I'm enjoying it I don't care if I'm enjoying the process I don't yeah. care if I'm happy I just do that and then once I'm done, I'm done with that then I look for some, you know and, 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 and while I do that I just fuck around with like girls and stuff like that uh, every once in a while but once, I, once I've done that, then I'll do like something else, right? Um, and the funny thing is like, that, that's so backwards, right? I think like, you know, you're limiting yourself a lot if you're thinking of life in that planning. way. If you're planning, you're planning, planning you, you stay in a square, you know? But you're not yeah. just open to every opportunity yeah. or possibility. Yeah. You don't know where the energy is gonna flow, so you just need to be open and, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, take, and also take, you know, if you're not structured, if you haven't worked hard yet, right? Like take that with a pinch of salt. Like obviously, you know, we're not saying like don't have a plan, right, going forward. It's just it's don't don't be not, so rigid, yeah, right? Yeah. Don't be so rigid. I, I think say. it's important to have a direction, but not the plan on how mm -hmm. to I mean, I don't know if you get yeah. into that. And also assess like who are the people that have planted that thought into your mind, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you know, is that is that something that you truly want or is it something that like someone has taught you know told you that is the right way to do things mm -hmm. and now you're living your life through their own like norms and paradigms like even your friends or family you know yeah. the, the social what's normal i mean yeah, yeah. maybe your way it's a different way and it's an amazing way but you just mm -hmm. need to experience it like your own way not the way that your friends want or that they think it's the good way it's just mm. yeah all right all right moving on um focus okay what what you know is it attraction um you want to need to talk more more on this topic myself, yeah. but do you want to add anything to, to this? Do you see it as a distraction I mean, from your, because you do a lot of deep knowledge work that requires a lot of creative thinking and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I do a lot of creative work and I write a lot of scripts. And for me, I mean, I think it's very interesting and for me it's uplifting. I don't know if that's a yeah, word, yeah. but I think it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, I like to create like a creative space and a workspace. So for me, mm -hmm. it helps actually. That you are focusing your things and I have my it, it just creates like an environment of yeah. work you know yeah. we're you're not messing around you're just like yeah yeah I don't know that, that's true I think it helps that that's one of the things that we're we're gonna talk about in that final uh, point but I think it's like a really good uh, thing to bring up right now which is like a lot of people think that having a partner is a distraction yet they're chasing women around around the town, yeah. <laughs> uh, like you guys get what I mean, like it's more of a distraction when you're, and I'm, I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with that, like you know, I've done it, um, personally, it just doesn't really work for me and with what, what I want out of life, um, but you know, I think like that's more of a distraction than, than an actual relationship where you have a partner that actually brings you up in many areas of your life and, mm -hmm. and, and actually compliments you, that, that's what a partner should really be like, um, so yeah. I'm planning. Mm -hmm. So focus, 
focus? Focus, focus uh, as long as what we talked about in the first point, as long as you schedule th- th- things, everyone knows the priority and everyone has their own space and, and time, like there's no there's no challenge, right? Um, it only you can only bring you up and, and, you, and yeah. you've done that in, in so many areas in my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so next is finding the right one. Am I the right one? You're the right two. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what we're gonna say on this point of finding the right one is like, that's really the wrong mindset, first of all. You know, starting out like you're not, you shouldn't be so much like finding or changing something external. Uh, it will, you will attract it. Uh, I can assure you that when, when you become a man or, or a woman of, of value who resonates in the type of frequency uh, as, you know, the, the same as the type of people that you want to attract in your life, right? So first, again, work on yourself in that individual work is so important. And, and by doing that, you will become a person of value that will attract this type of people, right? So how do you find the, the right people? You don't. don't. <laughs> you, yeah, and, and you don't search like a specific you know, location. Like you don't go to like specific clubs and bars. Like there's all mental games. There's all very mental. Like the simple answer is you work on yourself, right? You become the person that you want to be, or at least um, you get on the journey of becoming the person you want to be. And then you find- Align with your purpose. You, you find people that are aligned with the type of person that you want to be mm-hmm. and the type of purpose that, that you have in the world. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the universe is abundant, no? Yeah, yeah. The world, yeah. yeah, so it will come, I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I don't think that we're talking about, and we mentioned this in the Q&A, but make sure that you guys have the same level or similar level of business, M- meaning you guys are both as busy um, and you guys are both as driven and, and, and there's, basically coherence in that. It's kind of like a business partnership in, in many ways mm-hmm. where like, you know, if you're starting a partnership and <laughs> the, the funny thing is like a lot of people miss this talk with their partner, uh, even in business, right? And I, I definitely made this mistake. When you're starting a business, you should ask your partner, like, what are your goals? What are your objectives with this? Because for them, it might, you know, they might be fine with like hitting, you know, making 10K a month and then just living on the beach for the rest of their existence. And you may try to, you know, you may be trying to build a million, uh, you know, billion dollar empire, right? So those are very different things. And the same thing that, that applies for business, it applies for yep. uh, relationships as well. Like make sure that you guys are aligned on, on the type of things that you want out of life. If you guys just want to chill and, and watch Netflix and do all that stuff, like fair enough. Just make sure that the, the other person is aligned with that, right? If you want to build empires and you want to, you know, achieve more, dream more, um, live life on the edge and see the world through your own eyes, like make sure that that, that person is, is aligned with that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it's important. It doesn't have to be the same business, the same type of business. It could be like be a housewife, you know, but I think that the important thing for me is to have your life, then your partner has his or her life and you share things, but you have your main thing that that supports you. So you don't need to go over the other's life or to, yeah. So in that term, I mean, if you have a very strong business and you're very, um, into your business and the other partner has nothing to do, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, but the other person can be a very sports, I don't know, driven guy or just love to take care of the house and kids and whatever. That that's a lot of effort in a lo- in a business. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's just making sure that you both have something only yours. Mm-hmm. You know, so some structure, internal structure, right? and mm-hmm. yeah. The final thing that that we'll say on on finding the right one is. You want to make sure that you treat the, the partnership like a project as well. Um, mm. You know, it doesn't have to be financial. It, 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 you know, as long as you guys are building something, I think it's yeah. important for a relationship to have a goal, right? Or not a goal, but like to create something. You know, yeah. not, not just to be roommates who f- around. You know, I think yeah, it's yeah. important to build something together. It it, ha- it could be something like a business, a project apart from your business or whatever, or it could be just building a family or mm-hmm. achieving being a truly I don't know. Um, Generous. Generous. But uh, well, yeah, like something, but it has to Al- be altruistic. Good, altruistic, yeah, to, to create a fund, uh, okay. whatever. I mean, it's just. I apply for foreign, like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a goal, uh, a direction to go together, and then you have your life. He has his life. You go together, but you share some things, and that's when you okay. build stuff. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so remorse. <laughs> remorse. <laughs> remorse. I don't know what that means. Remorse, okay. but yeah. remorse is basically you kind of like regret stuff. You know, yeah. like you're missing out. Yeah, yeah. Something. So uh, and, and and the reason why I wanted to cover this is is because it's something that 
I used to think about, uh, I used to feel, maybe you felt it as well, we're like, you don't want to settle. I mean, we talked about this, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we're like, oh, I don't want to settle, blah, 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 but then we basically just let go, right? Because <laughs> we have both big heads. Mm -hmm. um, but is this general idea that, that a lot of people have where you think the grass is greener on the other side, and it's this like constant thought that, oh, I'm gonna find a better person, right? Or like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this right now because like, I'm too young. I'm too young, yeah, just... again, like, this time. age is for that, that's so mental, like it's just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's kind of what we already spoke about, which is the fact that like, number one, and again, I guess, like, I think, I think you should try it, right? you know, try it, see how it works, see if you're happy, because actually, if you try it fast, and then you realize, oh, maybe this is not really for me, or maybe you realize like this is 100% for me, but if you realize, if you have at least, um, if you've done it, right, and you have an opinion on it, you're not gonna go into a relationship thinking, Oh, maybe I'm missing out on this, right? Or maybe, oh, you know, these guys are going out and they're, you know, around and and uh, and, and talking to a bunch of girls. Like, I want to do that, right? Uh, but I'm stuck in with this relationship, mm -hmm. right? And so when you understand that, like, the grass is never greener, maybe you've already like gone through that experience, uh, that experience yourself, so you have an opinion on it. I think it just becomes so effortless to see the value in a relationship and be loyal to to your partner. Yeah, being loyal. That's. That's missing today a lot, but yeah, yeah. I think that also it comes with the, the fact that human nature, I mean, humans are always like looking outside, not inside. So yeah. that I think it needs to change because otherwise we're always going to be looking at what's the other guy doing? What are my friends doing? What's in, on the outside? What, you know, but you're missing your inside world and your family or your whatever you're building. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. We also talk about uh, the social pressure, right? Ah, yeah. That there is around like, going around and especially for men like you know uh what's your body count and all this shit um again try you know see see how 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 you like it uh but understand again social pressure you could it, once once you get rid of all these like social norms and, and pressures from friends family like you, you just experience a different level of freedom and yeah. a lot of people you know I, I talk in this channel i talk about financial freedom location time freedom right but a, a, a big freedom is like freedom of thought and freedom of self like inner freedom yeah when you just do what you want to do, mm -hmm. right, and you know what you want to do, uh, mm -hmm. and, and you know that it's not because your friend, your family, or society has told you to do it this way, sometimes it's very unconscious, right? We don't even realize, but once you tap into like that inner freedom, it's, it's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty uh, incredible. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And when you're happy with your own things, and you're happy for the others, you know, some very key thing is when you're unable to be happy from uh, about like your friend's success or your whoever success outside then it means that you cannot be happy from your own success so that means that you're focused outside and not inside so it's yeah. just, uh, just be happy <laughs> <laughs> that's a really no, good a really good be uh, free and be happy and just be happy. i think that's a really good uh way to wrap it up <laughs> be happy and be free um yeah. do whatever makes you happy take this video whatever way you want mm -hmm. maybe you think we're a bunch of uh, crazy people, <laughs> but uh, yeah. But we are happy and we are free. So <laughs> Th that's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this worked, uh, guys. I mean, and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, what do they have to do? Huh? It's not a heart. But subscribe. The it should be a heart. It should be a heart. The like button is just so under. Like it's, it's just so old. Yeah. You know? Well, like, like subscribe, button. hit the bell. Yeah. If you want to see more videos from her, <laughs> comment down below as well. What do you think of this relationship? you know, work life balance videos. I think, I think they're cool. Um, I, I really enjoy making these um, with uh, Augusta, but maybe you guys are, I think it's cringy as fuck. <laughs> but so, so if that's the case, let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.